Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much for clicking in this video. If you're new, Karibu Sana. My name is Sheila and if you're coming back, thank you. So today we are doing highlighting and contouring. But as you can see, I've already done my foundation. So uh, I'll link the video, the, the video below for how I did my foundation and how to create or to do a flawless foundation routine and the reason why we highlight and contour is to bring out our features right and to just look uh, perfect you know that was the main aim of why all these things started because we don't have all perfect features we have round faces we have big nose we have sunken eyes or really dark circles and we, there's a standard of makeup uh, that just started and people took it and ran with it and it's working and it's amazing and we love it and that's why we're here to learn about it so most of the time when you're highlighting you you'll use your concealer that you've highlighted for your eyebrow which is usually a shade lighter or two shades lighter than your skin tone which i advise um, when you're using when you're highlighting especially as a beginner always highlight with shades very close to your skin if your if your concealer is that light don't worry just mix it with your foundation and then uh, tone it down a little then apply and if you have two concealers like i do uh, i feel like this is very light it works for me but for the sake of this video i usually have a darker shade and a lighter shade this is very close to my skin if i do this there won't be much difference and if i do this it will be too light and if i put a lot then it's going to make my work so hard so we're going to mix these two i'll show you how to mix these two Then I'll take the darker one and this you do when your your concealer is very light but if it's like a shade lighter or like it's not very far from your skin tone then you're good to go don't go in like don't get troubled with very close to our eyes so under the eyes make sure you're looking up i like to to look up like this then come uh to your nose like this because we're trying to reduce even our noses so that it gives an illusion like your nose starts here your nose starts here <laughs> like that we're spreading it fast then if you have a round face make sure to pull it down not outwards and if you have a very long face and you feel like it's too too thin then you take it out i feel like i, I have both so this is step one we've spread it out so now we come here so as you can see using this part here so we start outwards yeah we start outwards going inwards so i'm going to blend using my br brush the one i use for foundation i start with blending As I go in, I'm like pressing in I'm not moving the product as you can see, I'm just pressing it in and trying to blend. I'm not rubbing the product out as you can see. I don't know if you can see the smooth transition, like you can't see any line. So you start with the edge as you go in
Then we go to the nose and forehead and here and here like this place our t-zone it's called the t-zone set it in so that the product can be absorbed a little and then you don't have a cakey feel in your on your face and the product the product doesn't move okay so when you're starting these things eh, I'm sure you just have your own powder shade so don't don't feel pressured just take your powder shade for me this one This is my powder shade, eh? so I'm going to set this side. So just take a little and uh, set. It will make a difference, not so much, but you see, we are we are like we are just starting. If you have a setting powder, well and good. If you don't, then it's fine. For me, I have this palette that I use it on my clients. It has lighter shades and darker shades. So I use this shade to set. I use it as my setting powder, which is slightly light. And that's what I'm going to use. Now we are going to the low light or contouring. So for me, when you're a beginner, you can use you use a powder like what I have, or you can use eyeshadow. This is a eyeshadow palette. It has this dark shade. So you take your powder. Then you, you start up from your eyebrow, coming down very close to your highlight, if you can remember. For, for our cheek um, where to know where to low light suck in your cheeks like this this will guide you where so here where you're going to low light and then let's use this eyeshadow so that you see what I'm trying to say very light hand see where i'm holding the brush this is the brush it's like three quarter it's like when you're doing your eyeshadow you remember hold it close to the end and so when you have a small forehead you don't contour up here because you'll make your forehead smaller 
but when you have a big forehead this is your time to shine <laughs> So if you want to make your highlight pop here, take your lighter powder and between your jaw and where your low light is, highlight. I don't know if you're able to see my face. It's just looking like. So then, just leave your uh, products, your seats in a little bit. And most people who, the people who I can recommend to bake are very oily, oily, like super oily people bake because that way you're able to absorb all the oils and then you'll be able to keep your face matte or dry or not so oily during the day but if you're not oily safe please just set just take whatever product you're using remove excess then set the places yeah so so now we've set let's we are going to use our setting powder to blend everything together. This is where the blush comes in. We need to pop our cheeks, we need to look nice. So many people don't like blush, but trust me, if you blend it nicely, if you put it sparingly, that's the word to underline. Then it will work for you. So we are going to use this blush from Technique. And then I'm going to use this shade. Let me do this side so that you're able to see the difference. So slightly above where you contoured. See where I'm holding my brush very lightly. Are you able to see? Like literally my face looks lifted in this side. That's the illusion the blush is giving and then it's like giving my face shape it's lifted my cheeks and my contour is popping and see for yourself yeah my cheeks are popping so let's pop this side so now we are going to go to our uh, highlight We've done our blush, you know, hey, our face is looking so good. I'm going to take this eyeshadow and use this shade. This shade as our highlight. So always take your product sparingly. Then
Then take your powder brush and it's like you're blending everything together. And that has been it, my people. That has been our highlighting and contouring class. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you've reached here, thank you so much for, for watching the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please comment down below which part was your favorite and uh, what else you'd like me to handle or if any if I skipped anything that you felt that was supposed to be covered. Thank you so much. God bless you.